guys, you're watching another video. Today we're going to be ranking the legends, uh, legendaries in Clash Royale um, in order from least to best. So let's get right into it. First, um, the, the worst legendary that I have on this uh, list is Sparky. That everyone knows that Sparky's the worst legendary. And the reason why I choose this is because um, if you zap the Sparky, it resets and um, it has too many counters in the game. So like you can use Skarmy or like skeletons to bait the thing and it takes too long to like recharge and people can rocket the sparky or fireball it as it comes around the tower the legendary so, yeah. that i have on this list is the inferno dragon because it takes a long time for it to fully heat up and there's a lot of counters like electro wizard uh spear gob and basically anything like skarmy or something to bait out the people to shoot the uh uh inferno yeah so, so number 10 on this list is lumberjack because um the reasons why i chose this is it it has uh like fairly low health like the same health as pekka i mean mini pekka um it could be easily countered with Scar sparky if you don't have arrows or zap or something um it could deal but it could deal the good damage with like minions or skarmy or minion horde if the lumberjack's a tank for the minion horde or something a small tank yeah so number nine on this list is the bandit because it's not that bad but it's easily distracted because if you put like skeletons or something it's gonna waste its dash and go towards the skeletons and not towards the tower it could be easily countered by a uh, sparky i mean skarmy prince dark prince or inferno tower uh, because if inferno tower can burn it down skarmy can just counter it because it can counter anything prince can take it out in two shots Dark Prince can take it out, I think, in two shots, too. Yeah. So, that's why I chose, um... Number Bandit. eight on this list is the Ice Wizard. It's, um, it's... It's fairly good, because it's one of, like... What's one of the top defensive cards in the game, because it slows troops down. And, like, it can slow the Prince from making its dash, or the Bandits, when it, like, starts dashing, and the Prince, and Dark Prince, when it starts charging. Yeah, and, um... It can slow basically a lot of hor like push your troops down when you want to win in overtime or something, and you want to slow those troops down so your other troop can make it to the tower and win the overtime game. So yeah, um, that's why. Okay, I chose so my it. next um my next um rank on this list is um, princess as number six because it has really long range. You can shoot at the bridge of the like on the tower. Um, it needs to be constantly logged or arrows or something and it does good splash damage and it's a low elixir cost so that's good it's like three it's three elixir number five i have the miner um it's good when a tanky card is taking the damage like a like a golem pekka or something is taking the damage while the miner so uh hits the tower and bangs on it and like basically kills it it's perfect in gameplay ideas, and if it's used as a naked miner, it won't do any damage to towers. So I don't think you should. I don't think. Or I have the Electro Wizard. It is really good. It's a really good card. It's good to use with a tanky card because of um, Inferno Towers reset, so it can't be countered by Inferno. Um, it has really, it has pretty good health, and it shoots two targets at a time. So if you're trying to bait out the electro wizard while something else kills you, yeah, I have the log. It has, it's an amazing counter to princess while you have an elixir advantage. It deals 95 dam damage to a tower at level one. That's amazing. Um, it put, it pushes back any single card in the game. And over time, this will be ideal because of your push, of your push, like when you're pushing something in overtime and you don't want them to score, like uh, them to shoot their thing, like kill the tower before you do. So you can pull them back while your your guy kills them. Like two of the Night Witch, it just got recently um recently went into the game and I had a chance to play with it in the draft talent draft challenge. Unfortunately, I got um three wins and that was kind of bad for me. Um, I got three wins and I didn't want to spend my gems because I was saving up for a chest or something. Um, and it's awesome because of the bats spawning continuously and the bats alone could kill the tankiest card in the game if you don't have a counter to the tanky cards. It's a melee it's a melee card and that means it um it can only shoot one at a time. And then spawns four bats when it dies and it's only four elixirs. So oh, this is the moment you've all but you guys have been all waiting for. Um this is the best card legendary in the 
in the game, and you guessed it. It is the graveyard. Um, I have this card, and it's really good because um, it can do out of this world's damage um, if you don't counter it or do anything. Um, it can do like a lot of damage with the smallest card as a tank, like a musket or something. And it spots a number of skeletons with a low elixir cost at, at five. So it can deal like a thousand damage if you don't counter it. Guys, that's so. the end of my video. I hope, uh, I hope you liked the video and comments on um, like how the video went and stuff. Um, subscribe if you haven't already and you're new to the channel. Um, uh, tap the bell to be notified if you guys want to um, be notified when my next video comes out. Um, I'll see you guys later. Um, this is the first of many Clash Royale videos. So I'll see you guys later. Peace out.